Hey, I'm Paul Nettini and you're watching Toasted. Easy. Are you tired, dude? Yeah, a little bit, man. But not really, man. No. Not really. You went to a ride, so it must be tiring. It's always, a, you know, but it could be a lot worse, man. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do last night? No, we drove from Belgium, man. It wasn't long. We were in Belgium. Uh, yeah, I just didn't sleep very well on a bus, man. And sometimes it's not very good. I mean, if you're in the middle bunks, you get the, the engine and shit, the fans. And <laughs> well, but it's a big part of your life, probably, right? Traveling in buses. Well, yeah, man. You know, but sometimes you sleep, sometimes you don't. <laughs> is, it, is it good touring, actually? I love it, man. Yeah? Well, most of the time. Most of the time it works. Uh, just the, you know, the, the um, you know, showing up doing a gig and you know playing your songs and that's that's the easy part, man. This is a hard bit. <laughs> this is the interview shit. <laughs> this is a hard bit. Not <laughs> you know trying to trying and trying to come up with answers. <laughs> uh, I can imagine because I mean, how many interviews do you do? Like zillions every day, right? Well, not so much now. I I I, I realise if I do more, I start talking rubbish, man. So the more I do, the 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 less, the, the worse the interview is. So I've started not doing so much. I'm only doing the important ones, man. I knew you would say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I can imagine because people. I mean, if you're not a musician and you don't know anything about the industry, you do have a lot of interviews. And you do have the same questions all the time, right? It can happen, yeah, man. It, do, it does happen. It does happen. I mean, yeah, well, not to everybody. Yeah, just whatever you want to do. Hey, you played, did you play Pickle Pop yesterday? We did. That was at Pickle Pop, yeah, in Belgium. Well, are the festivals actually fun to play? Ah, yeah, man. The, that, that was a lovely festival, man. The, all the bands. There wasn't really a bad band on the bill, man. It was, it was, a, it was a pretty... I mean, Dave Grohl played with Josh Holmes and John Paul Jones. Did you check it out? No, well, we had to go and do a TV show thing and we missed the whole thing. Fucking hell. Hey yeah, man. You know. Have we heard about it? It sounded we're, fucking... We're looking forward to see them actually. Well, is it going to be today as well? Yeah. Oh, what time? I haven't got a clue. I bet I miss it man. I bet we have to go or something. You miss all the good stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> But you were on stage with the Stones. Jesus man, that must be something. Yes, that was man. That was... That Are was... That was surreal man. That was an honor man. Of course. Of course, man, I was a, uh, you know, I was on stage, I got to sing with Jagger, I got to kind of, you know, we got to do the harmonies leading into Ronnie's, you know, pedal steel solo, it was, it was surreal, man, to say the least. Oh, but how do you get there? I mean, of course, you've talent, you've great music, but a lot of people have talent and great music, and they don't play with the Stones. I got lucky, man. Some For some reason, they asked us to come and sing. They called you? Well, they didn't per se they, they, they're anything. people called yeah, yeah. and they, we got offered the shows uh, the support shows and they're very very kind man very just have been like in a like like in a dream or something exactly man you got to make sure you got to make sure you've not you know somebody's not slipped something in your drink or something <laughs> you got to make <laughs> got to make sure it's real <laughs> Hey, you achieved a lot in a really short time, basically. I mean, of course, you've been working hard since you were like 15, but you, you achieved a lot, man. Uh, yeah, man. It's thanks to people that have came and came to shows and bought the album and go on internet and find the songs. And you know, man. It's without you know. I can only I'm only doing what what I feel is right for me to do, and then hopefully people get it, you know, or connect it in some way, man, you know. Lots of people do. Well. Hey, you have a new album out as well. Yes. Sunny Side Up. Sunny Side Up, yeah. It's, uh, it's new. Well, it's, no, it's, it's getting, it's getting it's thrilled about getting it. It's getting old down, man. <laughs> it's getting old, yeah, well, it's this year. You released it this year, right, mate? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. But yeah, no, but I'm, I'm happy, man. I've, I just want to go out and now, I just want to play it to people, let people hear it, and then get back in and do the next one and do the same again. You know, I was just kind of eager. Do you write new songs right now? I mean, because... Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. On the bus, you know, the, the, I think the more relaxed we are, or, you know, and not, and not necessarily in our personal life, but on tour and with each other, the more relaxed we are, the, better, the more creative we are, man, the more the easier it comes out, I think. So how many songs do you have already? For a new record? Yeah. 
Jesus, that's a that's a that's a big that's a big question. It depends what. There's a lot of songs that I've already got and have had that nobody's heard. There's a songs that you know that I've I, I think is shaping up to be like a, on the next record. A couple of tracks that kind of are leading the sound. So you know, I'd say there's like four or five songs that could be on it, but only really there's two that sort of kind of get and capture what I want to do. How does it work for you? Do you collect songs all the way? Some are really old, and you keep in your head yeah. until it feels good for a certain album. Or if it does, if if it does, man, if it if it, I mean, sometimes you just you know you you change the lyric or you put the you know the the lyric that you had for that song now works in that song. Just never throw anything away, really, man. That's the best, you know. I think the best way is never don't throw it away. Do you record all your stuff while you're on tour? Do you record your guitar parts or singing in the bus or? Yeah, yeah. I mean. Uh, mobile phones, you know, you can do it with that. You, you can record do it. songs on a mobile phone as well. Yeah, man. That's crazy, man. No, no, not necessarily. I rec- yeah, no, no. record ideas, man. You know, that's the main thing: recording the ideas. Wow. Try not if having something there all the time. A little notepad. Yeah. Cool. It must be hard to write on tour, right? Because a lot of a lot of musicians don't put out albums because they are on tour. And for you, it's easy to write songs. But you know, I think there's a lot of, depending on who, what label you're with, man, there seems to be a lot of implications on releasing a record, you know, it's not like as easy as just saying, there you go, I've got an album. You know, because they, they, um, they, they, they talk about it so much that <laughs> the next you know, five months have gone by and you're like, well, well let's, what happened to that fucking album? Come on, let's get it out. But you know, I know that they're all bad, man. Are there any bands that you like at the moment that you yeah. listen to yourself? New bands, yeah, man. What was it? The um, what 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 did what were we listened to? Was it the the the, the Fleet Foxes? Was the, Fleet some Foxes, gr- right some now. Grizzly Bear. Cool. Yeah, I was also listening. Uh, see, a lot of the music I hear is new to me, but not very new, you know. <laughs> uh, the um, what was what was that? What was that other band, man? The other, I mean, the Arcade Fire. I list, I've been listening to a lot of them. Cool. Yeah, man. A lot of Alabama 3, is that what they call I listen to them as well. A lot of alternative stuff you like? Well, alternative to what? Alternative, yeah. <laughs> alternative <laughs> to crap? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think yourself? Maybe, yeah, well, it's certainly not crap, man. So, yeah, it is, I suppose, alternative to crap. What do you think? There, there is a lot of crap out there, music-wise. That's, some person's crap is the other person's favourite record, man, you know. and. Uh, I think there's a lot of stuff that I don't necessarily like, but even I don't know. People have, you know, at the end of the day, if I think there's some things that are, you know, very transparent that you don't really need to, you don't, you know, that you can see through and just go that. I wouldn't get worked up about it, man. You know, it was just. But there's a lot of things that you might not like, but you can see that, you know, the people of the person who's made it, you know, has made it, and not just sort of. You know, I always think if it's going to be a piece of shit, you know, for me. I'd rather it was my piece of shit than, than somebody else's shit. with my name, with my face on it, you know? 